Hello and welcome to episode one of our brand new campaign. Uh, the new characters uh, and in a new land uh, called Helland. Uh, uh, we have uh, three of our previous players returning, Don, James and Justin. Hello. Good Hello. evening or good morning or whatever time you're listening. Uh, and we also have the addition of a, a newest member of the Decadise table, uh, Finley, who isn't here. <laughs> We're joining sometime in the future. Yes. Oh, mystery. Uh, hello, everybody. Um, so, our story takes place in the most chaotic and mysterious land on the world of Drim, Helland. Once the vibrant and luscious home of the dragonborn named Chromatica, uh, the birthplace of life uh, as the draconic gods of legend attempted to create a world of balance and discovery. A cradle of knowledge and invention for centuries until the Great Scourge War uh, swept across the world. Chromatica was the site of the final battle, a battle that laid waste to the lands. Nothing remained but ruin, dust and ash and the storms. The use of powerful battle magics and energies from the weapons wielded by the winged race that brought aid to Drim's defenders in its hour of need were left to scour the the land, converging and fluxing into one another, ripping holes in time, space and dimensions. These resulted in fragments of reality being pulled into the wastes of Helland, a section of jungle uh, a part of a facility from an ancient world, or a craft from places unknown. Uh, and with these fragments came new resources, new technologies, and new life. The race for receiving this knowledge, retrieving this knowledge, uh, uh, is competitive to say the least, but very lucrative. Many groups and organizations, uh, each with differing objectives, uh, will pay handsomely for unique items and information. A life of adventure and discovery awaits you in the wastes. But in Helland, the stakes can be high and nothing is free. Ooh. <laughs> mm. Mystery. So, uh, you all, well, your characters received a note uh, under your doors uh, or, or, or wherever you, uh, your abodes uh be uh, where your abodes be, uh, and um, they all said the same thing. Uh, you have been evicted. Yes, get out. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Too real. Uh, oh, <laughs> why? Uh, for the for the purposes of, of those listening at home, uh, uh, I, I don't know. Did it? Did you actually get to open the file properly, or did you just? Because it has a clue as to where you're heading. I, I read oh, it, uh, but I, okay. I can't remember what was in it because it's my brain like, doesn't hold it, any it, information. It, it, <laughs> that's, that's fine. Does your brain just like it, filter things as soon as it's seen them? Yes, basically. Uh, you, you all re- uh, found a uh, a note, uh, a headed note, a piece of paper uh, with a, uh, a hotel's, or a, uh, not quite a hotel, but uh, a headed paper of the false left. Saloon and Inn. It's the right place for you. In brackets. In, in inverted commas. Hmm. Uh, and, the, and the written note said, uh, I understand you wish to make a start in this item retrieval business. Trust me, it's a tough one. But I see potential. Please meet me tomorrow. I wish to give you some pointers. Yours, Alistair Kraken. And then at the bottom it says uh, the address of Main Street, Far, uh, Far Point, Helland. Uh, and you would all know that Far Point is the kind of setting off point into the wastelands. It's the it's the furthest uh, connected uh, settlement by the railroad uh, uh, f- for the rest of the uh, country, uh, the nation's um, sort of network. Uh, so... Uh, uh, and Alistair Kraken, uh, you have heard legend of um, the, the Alistair Kraken, one of the most famous uh, of uh, retrievers of items and information, uh, uh, a career spanning decades. Um, 
Uh, let, me get, let me give a little bit of information. Uh, career, career spanning decades uh, uh, and dozens of tales of adventure and, 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 and uh, stories uh, told in bars uh, of um, the time he brought home a such and such item or a creature or the, the time he encountered uh, some sort of monster or something. But more recently, uh, uh, news of his whereabouts has gone a bit quiet. Uh, there's rumour that he has a price on his head. Uh, but wh- who put the price on his head is very vague. Some say it's the uh, Iraq Industries, uh, who who have a, a base uh, here in, in Helland. Um, uh, and others that he may have uh, made a deal with entities of another plane that are coming to collect... Uh, or, or, or whether he's double dealed somebody, kept something, seen something he shouldn't have. Uh, there's there's many rumours, uh, and none are any more sort of known to be true than any other. Uh, so uh, it's a bit of a surprise that you've uh, got a meeting with him uh, as relative uh, nobodies in this in this land, so to speak. Um, uh, not wanting to dump uh, sort of poo your lives up to this point characters but uh yeah you're not you're not internationally renowned i'm deeply uh, offended <laughs> um, so anyway uh so you, you you wake up uh and you find yourselves uh the only way to get to fair point unless you want to walk the several hundred miles to it uh, is the train? It's uh, uh, there's a train leaving from uh, Gallantry, where you happen to be at this moment. Uh, so uh, you find yourselves uh, at the station of Gallantry, uh, the the main capital of Helland uh, uh, in this time. Uh, it's uh, it's aged grandiose. Uh, it, it was once a, a sort of it's it's a very large building covered. Uh, 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 for those who have been there, it's kind of a bit like Paddington, you know, it's sort of, uh, hmm. or, or King's Cross, you know, like the big London stations. It's sort of, the trains come in a big cover. Uh, uh, and there's a, a, a two, three platforms um, uh, in a T-junction. The One goes directly out to uh, Far Point with a double line there and back, uh, two parallel uh, tracks, and uh, sort of, Horizontal, uh, perpendicular, is that the correct term? Like a T, mm-hmm. uh, is is uh, the line going north and south to the other uh, other towns and settlements. Uh, so gallantry, everything comes through gallantry. Uh, you can't get anywhere else with, without going through, you can't go north and south or east or west without going through this place. So no matter where you started from, you would have had to get to this station to, to get to, to far point. Uh, uh, the large roof uh, covering the platform uh, shows signs of years of, of weather beating. Uh, so there's, there's various holes in the, in the sort of corrugated iron roof, uh, sort of a bit flappy and sort of tank, you know, sort of noise from it catching in the wind. Uh, uh, down one side of it of of, of this uh, space is a um, a row of ticket booths that are, are manned by automatons. Uh, and they and they line both sides of the entrance tunnel uh, uh, that opens up into the into the various platforms, uh, and they ju- and they're just sort of uh, sort of metallic uh, torso up. Uh, that's all you can see, uh, and they just sort of basically have uh, like a grill for a, for a mouth and sort of torch like eyes, uh, and they just uh, basically run through the same routine, sort of like, uh, "How can I help you today?" And and then some people, "Oh, I just want a ticket to such and such," and they go. Uh, and they're sort of overly jovial, uh, jo- jovial, you know, sort of uh, as, as the as the little tick. They they sort of their hand moves to to give the ticket, but the ticket just comes out a little slot. Uh, they don't they don't actually uh, take money from you. They take money or uh, the ticket from you. Uh, and, and and as you uh, go through the, uh, the the entrance hall, uh, there's a, a lot of noise. Uh, because most of the the platform is taken up with platforms, is taken up with uh, uh, stalls selling all manner of goods, 
street foods, uh, supplies uh, for people going out into the into the into the wilderness and an adventure. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, uh, there's all you know, lots of hustle and bustle. There's people buying stuff. People st- stood to one side eating sort of various things. Uh, it's sort of a, 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 a a contained hubbub, like a, a, a covered market, sort of. It's sort of the, the roof is bouncing the sound, and it's and you've got the trains sort of chuffing away, sort of waiting to leave. And it's, it's a very busy, very loud place. The smell of smoke and grease and all these different foods. Uh, it sort of builds a very curious mixture, a sort of a sweet, sort of bit of sweet, bit of sour, a bit of sort of smoky. It's, it's very, very, very strange smells unusual smells uh, and there uh, waiting at the platform is the train to f- uh, to Farpoint um, uh, uh, you're waiting at this platform uh, there's all manners of people uh, sort of uh, there's not so many uh, so many it's quite early in the morning it's quite quietish uh, the platform particularly is sort of, you know, sort of the first train if you like um, there's a few uh uh, people are clearly salesmen. They've sort of got uh, they're about to sort of spread their their, their wares. Uh, a few ac- academics, you know, sort of rolls of parchment under their arms and things, uh, and, and some other people that you assume are uh, other retrievers of, of items. Sort of look a bit sort of explorery, sort of uh, heavy coats and sort of built for extremes and, and things like that. Oh, excuse me. Mm-hmm. So, uh, would you like to, uh, uh, as you stand uh, on this platform, you look around, look at these people, you notice uh, a, f- a few individuals that stand out to, to uh, yourself. So, uh, Justin, would you like to uh, describe yourself? On the place? Uh, cast is sort of tall and rangy, sort of very skinny. Um, he's wearing a long coat with a hood. Uh, the coat is sort of white or sort of off, d- dirty off-white, sort of bit of a dusty sort of colour to it. Um, the the sort of most notable thing about him, uh, other than sort of messy blonde hair coming out of the hood, is he's got these uh, eyes that are solid, almost a solid gold colour. And he has this sort of distant expression on his face and this sort of big smile but it's a very vacant smile like like there's nothing going on at the moment behind the eyes <laughs> and uh, and his name is Castor very good uh, uh, and uh, Dom would you like to do yours? yes um, as, as I assume you're probably in the vicinity yeah I'm probably standing next to him uh, so I'm Roman. Uh, Roman is stood next to Caster. Um, of a similar height, though, probably a bit taller um, at this point. <laughs> um, uh, where Caster is more kind of, but you said spindly. You said kind of gang, fringy. Yeah, yeah. He's more that. Whereas um, Roman is the kind of more bulky, um, muscular one of the pair. Uh, he's wearing a. Um, what was at one point a kind of a white kind of I believe it's called a Henley top, you know those kind of muscle muscle tops mm. uh, with the sleeves kind of rolled up um, to the elbows. Uh, it's kind of yellowed over the years. The the white, a um, couple of marks and tears here and there. Some um, black ripped jeans and combat boots. Um, and his 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 person is. Um, not what you expect from a from a human, because uh, he has fur all over, uh, teeth like fang uh, canines um, protruding from his um, lower lip, kind of pointing up, almost like tusk, but much smaller, more like I say, more fang like. Uh, his hair is kind of pulled back in a uh, rough um, dreadlock ponytail, and he has a kind of somewhat well kept though quite bushy um, beard on his face and uh, kind of canine eyes. And he is the once identical twin brother of uh, Castor. Lovely. So you're, still you're still identical. Yeah, still identical <laughs> underneath that. Just... Um, yeah. ooh, we look exactly <laughs> the same. Yep. 
I know what you're on about. It's my identical twin. <laughs> so, so you're both stood uh, uh, at one point in the uh, station. Uh, mm-hmm. James, uh, uh, and you both see this uh, unusual... Uh, this other oh, fella. sorry, I should, sorry, <laughs> should point out that there's um, on, on Roman's back, there's a big mother hugger, because I'm being nice and using watershed language, mother <laughs> effer of a, of a sword on his back. Which is a bit weird, considering there's all guns and whatnot around too. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, go on. Oh. Go. Uh, August is uh, herring gone. Uh, walking down the platform, you see a sandy, uh, rabbit-looking person uh, wearing a, a leather western hat and a, and a leather waistcoat with a shirt on and a, a, a neckerchief around his neck. Um, although uh, he's wearing some sort of like dirty uh, jeans type thing, he's got bare feet, no shoes, with a big old backpack on his back and a big uh, pickaxe and a shovel strapped onto it and as he's walking down the platform he's writing in a notebook and looking around and um oh sorry he's hitting people with the with the shovel as he's turning one way and it's it's very it's very a uh, slapstick as he's walking down <laughs> oh sorry sorry uh uh, uh, uh oh mind up oh, watch out the way <laughs> uh, he's lovely. he's made a lot of noise uh, as, as he's as he's uh, uh, arrived cool so yeah it, uh yeah and, and there's some other people, obviously, uh, waiting. There's a uh, a uh, uh, a lady in a sixties. She's quite well dressed. She's sort of standing quite a, a little bit away from uh, the majority of uh, uh, the people waiting for the train. Uh, she's, you know, sort of. She's uh, uh, very got a very big sort of uh, flouncy dress, if you like. She's sort of probably in, uh, in her sixties. A little bit sort of uh, got a tissue you know a hanky in one hand sort of holding it up to sort of mask the the acrid smells of the of the world and sort of uh, sort of a gray kind of uh beehivey kind of hairstyle um she sort of sticks out like a sore thumb um uh, uh and uh, uh one of the people that you may have bumped into uh, uh james there was a uh, there is a, an orc uh sort of stood there uh, you would have bumped off him because he wouldn't have moved uh uh, uh, and, and he would have grunted. Him in the knees. Uh, yeah, yeah <laughs> there's, uh, there's a theme you, here you, with my characters bumping into people on the first yeah. episode. <laughs> uh, uh, as you sort of bump off him, uh, you sort of uh, look up and apologise, and he just sort of looks down and sort of gr- grins and a sort of like a guttural growl so, mm, um, as you pass uh, 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 pass him by. Uh, um, and there's a uh, not too far away from the two of you that you you sort of notice uh, there's a small. Uh, goblin um and he's got a very big pack that's almost as as uh big as him and he's sort of it's weighing him slightly uh, like he's overburdened and this thing it's got like a little bed roll on the top uh, it, it looks all very nice and shiny and new uh and uh, he's got a sort of like a, a, a brand new hat uh you know like a, a fedora kind of uh affair going on and, he, and he's sort of uh he looks for a goblin fairly young i guess um and he's looking very bright, uh, you know, very wide-eyed around uh, what's going on. Uh, uh, also, there is a uh, a very large gentleman, uh, not as in uh, sort of. He's, he's quite tall, uh, muscular. He's got a very thick neck. Uh, uh, you know, it looks like he sort of uh, works out a lot. Um, is it me? Uh, yes, it is. It is. Oh wow! Uh, <laughs> uh, and. Um, yeah, he sort of stood there, almost, almost sort of stereo, hands on hips, surveying uh, a, 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 the competition kind of thing. Uh, it's, it's got a, it's like a, a black hair that sort of uh, swept back uh, into a sort of almost mullet, but not quite. Uh, you know, sort of uh, a very thick, uh, very big square jaw, clean shaven, sort of, uh, and um, he has uh, uh, next to him is. Um, a, uh, a sort of uh, almost like a foot shorter than him is a, a mechanoid uh, person uh, which is sort of golden uh, metal uh, sort of tubular arms and legs uh, and uh, where the elbows and knees should be are like sort of compressed rubber uh, you know sort of like um, joint coverings if you like uh, uh, and uh, he has a very similar head to the um, uh the booth people with the sort of uh, 
the, the grill mouth and the, and the and the torch eyes and and, and little grill ears, and uh, he he's on uh, on either of his sort of pincer hands, he has a lot of bags, all matching, all you know, sort of a full matching set of uh, uh, of, of luggage, and this little robot thing is 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 holding these things uh, next to this big fella, uh, and uh, and and there's a, a sort of a, a few other sort of just workers or you know sort of miners and things but those people particularly stand out to you uh oh and uh and then you can hear the chuffing of the train as it's entering the station uh, uh and as it's uh the train pulls in uh uh and and while the uh the engine is is, is turning around and getting ready to uh for for the journey back into the uh t- towards far point uh uh, I would. You all notice this, but I would like you all to make a uh, perception roll for me, please. <clears throat> First roll of the campaign. Starting well. Uh, <coughs> Twenty-three. Oh, good grief! Gosh, I rolled a nineteen. <laughs> I did get twenty. I rolled twelve. <laughs> <laughs> See, that shows the golf here. Like Castor got an 11 because he's not really paying attention to anything really <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> um, yes okay so so Castor sort of, you, you notice uh, at, at, at least that uh, uh, one of the gen- uh, uh, there's a gentleman uh, a little bit down the station because the train is made up of three carriages so to speak with an engine at one end the two uh, the first and second from the engine if you like are passenger compartments, uh, and the rear one is uh, for storage and uh, like the brake van, uh, uh, like like old steamy trains had uh, the, uh, the the van at the the truck at the back, which which uh, added a bit of extra braking, mm-hmm. uh, and it's where the storage. So it's like a cupboard, uh, you know, um, mm-hmm. uh, carriage, I guess. I can't uh, wagon thing. <laughs> I can't Whoa. remember. I can't think. <laughs> yes, Whoa. words, words. Uh, you wouldn't think my dad has uh, model train sets and, and made me look at these things, and I can't think what it's called. Uh, yeah, it's a brake car with with a sliding door, a sliding door. You know, like you see in, in films that the hobos live in, mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. That, that, that kind of thing. Quick, we uh, have to catch the train. Oh, look! Luckily, yes, there's the one, one of those. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the one. That one's. Uh, there's one of the. Uh, and and sort of uh, uh, he almost uh, uh, this this uh, particular car is is kind of more in front of you as, as it's closest to the to the station itself. Uh, and this little man, so, uh, in a sort of uh, a, a quite a dishevelled suit. It was once a nice suit, suit, but it's sort of been a bit hasn't been looked after. Uh, uh, and he's sort of his hat's a bit skew if, uh, and he's a sort of short, dumpy man. He's probably. Uh, about five foot something, uh, and how, how tall are you, James? Uh, as in me personally? <laughs> no, no. As in, as in, August. as in August. Do you know what? He's yeah. He's a he's he's still medium sized, but I say he's he's a bit shorter than the average human. So probably like yes. But the important question is. But- do your ears take you up to the size of the average say, human? Is it, is it ear height or is it where's the head stop? Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that. I planned that already. I've got it written down here. Ears take me to height. Yeah, yeah, okay. that's the one. So four foot this five guy with is ears. Probably, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this guy's a little bit It'll taller than you. This, this guy's everything. a little bit taller than you. Sort of like a, a short human or a tall dwarf, depending on how you look at it. Um, uh, and. Uh, He's, he's looking very sort of uh, erratic, you know, sort of... Uh, and two of the station orderlies uh, are carrying this trunk uh, uh, onto the onto the thing. And, and one of them sort of stumbles a bit and drops it. Uh, well, not drops it, but sort of almost drops it. And and this and this guy sort of goes, Oh, please, please, please be careful. Please, 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 please. He, he's, he's very erratic. Uh, and the two of you, uh, August and uh, Roman, uh, as you rolled so high, you can see that... Uh, from your perception role, that this guy looks like he hasn't slept for days. Um, he's 
he's, he's got big bags under his eyes. He's looking very, you know, so he's, twi- he's a bit twitchy and he's, uh, there's, there's something, uh, you don't know, you can't really tell whether he's uh, scared or just tired and manic or, but he's, he's very uh, protective of this trunk. Uh, and uh, and the the two orderlies are sort of like oh, sorry mate yeah whatever. Uh, as, as They're the, seeing as this, the, um, Roman will kind of look at him, look to Castor, see that Castor's a bit kind of away with the fairies, and just somewhere. kind of just kind of give him a elbow and just kind of Castor's seen some kind of nod seen over. shapes in the smoke. <laughs> just kind of elbow <laughs> and just kind of nod over to the to the guy. Oh, oh, ah, okay. Uh, what? <laughs> the the fellow over there with the trunk. Uh, yeah, and, it, and this guy is sort of like dabbing, he's, he's sort of pulling out a handkerchief and dabbing his sort of sweaty brow. Uh, you can see that he's, he is quite, uh, he's perspiring quite a bit. Um, and, uh, uh, and, and, and and this crate, uh, well, I say crate, it's like a, a trunk. Uh, uh, you notice that it, it seems to be made of a, a, some sort of black metal. Uh, I mean, it, you're, you're seeing it being loaded, so you can't tell exactly what kind of any specific metal. But it, it looks like it's been it's embossed with something. You can just see that as it catches the light uh, of the station, that it's sort of it looks like there's a pattern embossed on it uh, all over it. I'm going to walk it's up like nice to them. Trim. Um, sorry, I'm going to walk up to them. Yeah. And just uh, you fellas need a hand. Uh, they go. Uh, uh, no, you're all right. Thanks. Uh, it's, sure. Uh, you, know, you seem yeah, to be yeah. uneasy before. Uh, no. Oh, who are you talking to? Sorry, who are you talking to? The ones with the, the with the trunk. The ones that kind of nearly like they were stumbling. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They're, they're just orderlies. They're just uh, you know they they say oh, you're right, mate. Uh, uh, you need a hand uh, with uh, that. Uh, uh, and the guy, uh, he, he sort of sees him and goes, "Oh, uh, 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 thank you, sir, but uh, uh, please, uh, uh, you need to stay uh, stand back, please." Um, uh, all right. It's all right. it's 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 not it's not safe. Can I get a look um, down at the um, thing that's embossed on it? Uh, yes. Um, make, make a little investigation roll. Oh, this can go uh, well as, it, as, as it's passing you by. <laughs> yes, the first of the campaign, natural <laughs> one. Okay. Uh, yeah, you don't see any more. Um, yeah, yeah. It just looks. You see I some have shape. no idea what this is. Uh, can no, I? You, you, can I have a look at the chest? Uh, yes, I'm sure you'd probably follow your brother over there. To see yeah, what he's looking at. Uh, it's so fitting. It's like I know what this is. I have no idea what this is. Yeah, uh, that's a natural twenty <laughs> for investigation. It's so okay. fitting. Yeah. Okay. This isn't my forte. Oh, it's your forte. Uh, Good, you're here. Go my... Okay, so. Um... <laughs> Uh, yes, this this is uh, a, ma- uh, a black metal, and it has a sort of a, uh, some sort of gold sort of uh, uh, lining, you know, sort of around the edge of, the, of where the lid is, uh, and across the top in a cross piece uh, fashion, and like the the lock mechanism uh, is 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 the same gold metal, you know, sort of all the uh, features are sort of this gold. Mm-hmm. Uh, plain gold, shiny metal, uh, and the rest of the blackness is uh, embossed with what you can see as uh, sort of symbols for suns uh, uh, and maybe the moons, and uh, you, you assu- assume there's some sort of uh, celestial bodies, you know, sort of planets or things like this. Uh, I mean, you, you may be familiar with a little bit of uh, space knowledge. I don't, I don't know what you're whether your background would come into that or do you, do you be familiar with the the the, the bod, you know the, the things in uh, the moons of the planet and, and and things like that you know the sun exists is there anything know. sort of significant to them um uh with the natural 20 uh they look like they remind you of perhaps uh, past books and things you've uh you may have no you may have glance through uh, in your youth perhaps or whatever uh, sort of stories of uh, you know sort of the, the the planets of the galaxy and things like this you know sort of the people have spotted through uh, their telescopes and sort of through um, far seeing uh, uh, mediums uh, uh, none, you know you don't you don't have a good enough knowledge to say oh that's definitely this constellation or whatever <coughs> but they look like similar kind of patterns that you would have seen in in, in books and and uh, documents. Uh, 
to do with uh, things off world, so to speak. You know, sort of even. Th- does that make sense? Hmm, it does. I wonder. <laughs> Let me just have a look. Um, Yeah, I was wondering if I could try and sneakily cast Detect Magic. Uh, okay, yeah. I will I will attempt to sneakily cast well, Detect Magic. Just, just, just to clarify, uh, uh, I know under the previous campaign, magic was a bit sort of... Well, Helen is completely different. People are uh, used to having magic. Uh, and 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 it obviously, it, it brings a, uh, advantages for going into the waste. I understand that you're probably trying to not be quite so open yeah. about sort of la la sort of fada. I'm casting a spell. Your secret, so <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, yeah, yeah. But I just wanted to clarify that sort of uh, you don't have to be quite so. There's no slight of uh, well, no you know, generally. You, you're nobody's going to run or or. Uh, apart from the people that you're firing <laughs> fireball with that, yeah I just, um, I just don't want this guy to spot me doing it that's all yeah, that's fine that's fine you can still do a slight of a hand bit touchy about it, yeah, so. oh slight yeah. of hand I've got a whopping plus one Ooh, that's fine he, 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 uh, I'd say you have advantage because he is very distracted well I rolled an 18 straight off and that's the highest so 19 okay yeah uh, 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 my first roll is yeah. Okay. Uh, he is. He is too busy looking at the uh, at this trunk and making sure it's put, uh, going in nice and safely. He's not looking at you at all. Okay. So for the duration, and everybody else is busy, busy doing their own thing. So yeah. For the duration, which I believe is ten minutes, uh, you can sense the presence of magic within thirty feet of you. Uh, you can see a faint order around any visible creature or object in the area that bears magic, and you learn its school of magic, if any. Uh, okay. Um, you uh, obviously get a lot of pings from the from the people around you, uh, such as your brother. Yourself. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yourself. Um, uh, there's... there's uh, uh, I mean, you get a little bit from the orc as he's walking on to, uh, towards his towards the carriages. Uh, not so much from the goblin. Uh, he's he's sort of not really got anything particularly coming back at you. Uh, uh, is August carrying anything magical at the moment? No, I don't think so. No. No. Uh, uh, the uh, the old lady. Uh, I say the old lady. She's not terribly old, but uh, the old lady who's who's sort of shuffling her way at the back of the group, uh, making sure she is uh, no uh, at least five feet away from anybody else at any one time. She is keeping social distancing. Um, uh, uh, she, she, you get a little bit, you get some, uh, you get a, a bit of a, um, a something from her. Um, uh, you know what the schools are. Uh, you get a, an illusion. Uh, is that, is that one of the schools? Yes. Illusionary, uh, flavor from that. Old woman. Mm. Mm. Uh, and uh, 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 and this trunk, this chest trunk thing. Yes, you definitely get a magic, uh, a, a, a magic aura from it. Uh, as to its school, what would it be? Let me let me just double check on the contents. Um, hmm. Are there types of metal that block the spell? That's usually lead, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah you're definitely. Go Sorry, I was just going to say. I think it has to be a certain depth of material. Mm, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Get, I'll, I'll, I will say this: you, you're getting a, a magical aura from the box or from what's in it, but not necessarily uh, a school, if that okay. makes sense. Okay. So there's some, something on it, or in the box, but uh, it, uh, yeah, I should tell you about how size, how big it is. It's, it's probably, uh, it's, um, let's think, uh, maybe five foot long, uh, and, and two and a, maybe two, between two and three foot wide, uh, and the same high. So it's quite a big thing. Well, in that case, um, 
not to monopolize too much sorry not to monopolize oh. too much time i will use mind link on roman to speak telepathically to him Ooh. And, and as you're doing this the two orderlies are sort of they've, they've sort of uh, lifted this thing into the uh, 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 you know, into the into the storage container yeah. and they're sort of settling it down brother nice being in the middle of the thing as they always do in, in hollywood <laughs> Brother, and you say, brother, you see him kind of jump in the north in real life. Like, I'm still not used to that, you know. Roger informs me that the box is magical, and that the old lady has illusion magic. Which one's Roger again? Roger, he's my friend. He helps me. Can't you see him? He's he's right over your head right now. Yep. Yeah, I got him. Yep. Yeah. Sure. Yep. That's. Hmm. Cold. <laughs> Yay, Roger. Roger says hello. Hi. Good. Because I knew you'd be friends. Yep. Yep. Good. Uh, August, what are you doing uh, while well, this, uh, this is going on? <laughs> Despite his high passive perception, um, I think August would probably mistakenly bump into this very large man. Which which large man? The the one with the thick neck. Oh yes, yes. Gaston, uh, uh, or like I like to call him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Interesting, you got that. Uh, that, that, that no vision. ones. <laughs> he yeah. suddenly burst into song. Uh, no. <laughs> Is he uh, especially good at expectorating? Uh, 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 what, sorry? It's from the song. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, I will, he uh, when he rests? I will just mention, yes. um, uh, so as he's kind of talking in his head, since he's not that used to it, um, you, anyone with high enough perception would just see like his mouth just kind of twitching a bit. In, Who, who's? Um, Romans. Yeah. He would just kind of see his mouth just like <laughs> as he kind of talks in his head, and he has to kind of oh. talk it out a little bit, like, <laughs> like the telepathic see, equivalent of running your finger along yeah, the line. Yeah, or... yeah, he has to kind of like focus, oh. focus. Yeah. Um, the two orderly, uh, orderlies walk past you as they're as they're going back uh, to their duties. Uh, one just sort of walks straight past you, another one sort of stops and sort of looks at you. And then looks back again, and then carries on. <laughs> he of, kind of looked uh, out, realizing he's doing it. <clears throat> yeah, yeah <clears throat> sort of, it gives you a sort of look of sort of like, uh, "You right, mate? You okay? Do you need yeah. a helper too?" Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, th- at this point, the the sliding door is shut, uh, and the, the the sweaty man is sort of dabbing his head. Uh, uh, oh, yes. Uh, a guest on, um, yeah. You, you bump into him, and he goes, "Oh, uh, watch yourself there, laddie." Uh, <laughs> yes, Gaston. Oh, oh. Yeah. Um, beg your beg your pardon. You, uh, yeah, yeah, you, you, yeah. yeah. And, and he sort of looks. He looks you up and down, and he says, "Oh, <laughs> retriever, are you?" Oh yes, sir. I'd very much like to be one. Uh, I'm currently working on it. Oh, and he, he put he puts his hand out. He puts his hand out uh, uh, and uh, uh, and it says, uh, "Put it there." Stand a paw. Yeah, yeah. and it, it is, it's, it's, his hand sort of encompasses your your paw uh, and, and grips a little bit too tightly. Oh, ah, oh. uh, and sort of gives you a sort of shake uh, and and a sort of like oh, jolts your shoulder, your elbow a little bit. Because, uh, it's always good to meet a fellow com- uh, uh, retriever. Uh, I hope we won't be uh, competitors. Oh, oh well. Uh, all right. No, I, I'm sure we can we can work together. Maybe in the future, see see you around the the, the Oh yeah, but mate, uh, he sort of he, 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 yeah. Uh, at this at the idea of uh, working together, he sort of he, he doesn't try and hide the sort of look of. Mm-hmm. I don't think so. Uh, I guess, yeah, um, although you have to be careful, there's uh, anything could happen out in the wastelands. I mean, a lot of people go missing. Oh, oh yes, no. And I... then he's, he walks away. Uh, uh. 
his favorite man. <laughs> uh, he's very and, and the and the, and the little robot thing sort of trots after him and sort of says, uh, 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 sort of, uh, as, as he passes you, because uh, uh, in a sort of metallic kind of uh, voice, he sort of says, I, I, I must apologize for my master. Uh, he he uh, always gets like this before going on a, uh, another <clears throat> thing. And, and then uh, you just hear this guy say, uh, Abel! And, uh, and he goes, uh, he sort of, the robot sort of curtsies to you. Uh, and then oh, sort of what yeah. and then sort of totters off after uh, after this gentleman oh. as he as he uh, gets on the uh, plane. I was going to say on the train. Uh, <laughs> plane, so, train, and uh, automobiles. sort of almost on. Um, pardon? There's planes, oh. trains, and automobiles. Yes, there are. Um, so uh, uh, all that's left are, is, is uh, the orc is the uh, last one to get on. He's sort of looking up and down the. Uh, the, the platform uh, and all he can see is is, is you guys uh, uh, the and then all that's left on the uh, platform is uh, a little halfling man uh, who is uh, a suited in a nice dark blue um, uh, uniform uh, with a little hat uh, and he has a gold chain and on the end of this gold chain is a little whistle uh, and he goes uh, just goes, uh, all aboard then uh, everybody, the next train to uh, Farpoint is getting ready to go. So if you uh, uh, go in, you better get on. I'm going to blow my whistle. <laughs> <laughs> I, I imagine. I imagine at this point, Castor is yeah. is staring back off into the middle distance again. <laughs> so he'll probably need to be tugged onto the train. <laughs> Yeah, I imagine he's, like I say, at some point, he did get on, but he's probably wandered off and he's like, oh, <laughs> back in the train. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> oh, uh, train, isn't listen. this fun? Could you just roll me a uh, percentile dice for me, please? <laughs> oh, okay. splendid. Oh. Uh, I just re- I just realised that you cast a spell, didn't you? You did some magic. Oh. Yeah, and magic, although not... Uh, of, you know, sort of uh, strange uh, to see. It, it due to the nature of this land, it can have other effects. Yes. So I'm trying to work out how this roll? works. I think I got a zero and an eighty. So that's eighty. You got okay. an eight, yeah, so you got an eighty and a zero, so that's eighty. Uh, your spell uh, went as uh, uh, planned. So nothing, nothing untoward happened. Thank you, Roger. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> so uh, I, I guess you're, you're, you're half of my speech is just going to be. Uh, <laughs> so the, 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 two car- <laughs> the two carriages you have, uh, the one closest to the um, engine, the engine, you know, the, the outlet. Uh, is uh, an open plan kind of uh, carriage with sort of tables uh, and chairs sat around them. Uh, imagine kind of like a um, uh, murder on the Orient Express kind of uh, carriage where they all seem to be open. Mm. You know, sort of you could just get down, sit down at a table, uh, and there's like a little bar at one end. Um, so it's a sort of dining things. carriage. Yeah, oh. it's uh, yeah. Effectively, it's a, di- a dining carriage. Uh, it was once uh, a very, uh, um, for want of a better word, very palatial, very uh, high end sort of, mm-hmm. uh, sort of lots of uh, velvets and, and and sort of silks and things. But but it's it's sort of it's been a bit worn due to mainly the clientele of being explorers and people who've just come from the barrens uh, and tired, and, and it's sort of just got worn and it's a bit dirty and it's. Uh, uh, looking a bit, a little bit sorry, but uh, it, it's it's looked like it's it's been trying to be maintained to be nice, but it's it's like fighting a lo- whoever's doing it's fighting a losing battle. Um, to that uh, point, next- um, uh, Roman would sit down and then put his feet up on another bit of furniture. Yeah. <laughs> his yeah, very muddy boots. <laughs> <coughs> uh, okay, uh, Castor, would you be sitting with him? Uh, you could there's little tables and uh, and things you could sit. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think I think Castor would would automatically sit with his with his bro- darling brother. Okay. Uh, elsewhere, there there is the uh, the lady. She sat on her own uh, in uh, sort of a, a corner, 
uh, corner table. Uh, who else? We got the the uh, goblin. It's sort of set in the middle, uh, 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 to the uh, against the wall, and on a sort of uh, just like a, a, a chair uh, with his sort of uh, hand. His feet don't touch the floor. Uh, when he sat down and uh, it sort of puts his hands sort of together like uh, almost he almost looks like a child who's been sent out on a journey on his own if that makes sense <laughs> you know so when you see the kids who sort of uh, they've been out they've put, been sent into the public on their own sort of 10 11 year olds uh, and he's on his own like going on to get the train to school and they're just sat on their own uh, looking sort of a bit sort of like oh, uh, surrounded panic by, panic yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, the orc uh, kind of does a similar thing to what Roman does. He sort of like plumps himself down uh, in a little booth uh, uh, opposite the uh, the, the bar uh, and uh, sort of uh, puts his feet sort of out of the booth. So they're sort of so whoever walks past has to sort of walk around him. Uh, who else has left? Uh, oh, uh, the the man with the neck and the little robot. They sort of. Uh, <laughs> None of the other men have necks, but all no, sharks. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, he he sits down at a table and um, he almost instantly start, starts clicking his fingers at, at, at the, uh, the the lady at the at the bar, who sort of uh, uh, who says, uh, I'm, "I'm sorry, sir, we can't serve until the train starts moving." And he sort of goes, "Oh, ridiculous!" Oh, One of them sort of huffing and. Yeah, he's huffing and blah, blah, blah. and the robots just sort of stood behind him, uh, still holding the bags. Um, uh, and, and then uh, the little, uh, the halfling man uh, comes in and sort of like, uh, okay, is everybody comfortable? Okay. And, and he sort of pulls a little train. Uh, 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 he's blown his whistle outside and he pulls his train and there's a little, you can hear a little distant ding uh, from the uh, direction of the engine. Uh, and then it's sort of the engine slowly sort of chuff chuffs uh, and pulls away out of the station. Um, uh, just just for a point of fact, the the you're the, the in the carriage closest to the engine. In between uh, the carriage you're in and uh, the storage one is a uh, third carriage, uh, and this one uh, you will know as uh, these have uh, half a dozen like little sleeping. Uh, rooms uh, where you can because it takes a few hours for it to get to uh, uh, Farpoint um, and a lot of time a lot of trains go overnight and things and people can, or, or coming back from a, a long uh, adventure or whatever people just can hire the rooms to sleep and rest and things they like sort of you know little fold down beds uh, a, little, a little wash basin not necessarily particularly uh, fancy but they're just sort of somewhere just to shut yourself off from everybody else uh, if need be, and, it, and and obviously at the back of the train is the brake car with uh, storage uh, and this mysterious trunk. <clears throat> so uh, August is fighting to try and get his ba- backpack on like a luggage um, oh, rack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like his his shovel's Above getting his stuck, head. whatever way he puts it on, and his canteen's <laughs> like clattering against it, and stuff's like falling, like jars of. Dirt and stuff are all falling. Uh, yeah, uh, cool. and he's on his tiptoes trying to reach it and struggling. Seeing this, Roman will walk over and just kind of, uh, and then just kind of take the bag from him, kind of twist the shovel, and then kind of force it in. So for a second, August hasn't let go, so his feet <laughs> leave the floor as you lift it up, and then I was going to say, as it, seeing you kind of still hang on, he's like, you you have to let go. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, yeah, so so your your luggage is uh, safely stowed. Uh, the, uh, I'm probably oh. gonna need you to get it down when we get to. to yeah, yeah, yeah. No, far point that. Thanks. Can't reach. Yeah. And I'll just go and sit down. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, campaign over. <laughs> we didn't <laughs> meet. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, I hope he doesn't sit in that seat. Roger's sitting in that one. I'm sure Roger won't mind. 
He seems nice. What, what, what seats are free? Where, where's the table available? I'm going to have to There is one uh, sort of the, the other side of the carriage to uh, the man, the, the, the gentleman who's just helped you. There's, there's a num- there is a number you could sit near so a table next to pretty much everybody in the thing. I mean, there is a seat not- opposite me, but it has my shoe on it. Yeah, yes. but the, I imagine that it's like a like they're like benches, aren't they? So it'd be two, won't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. But but Roger is sitting in one of them, and my shoe is in the other. So <laughs> <laughs> they've got like but one foot you- up and one foot on the floor. The, the advantage of Roger is you can't see him. <laughs> <laughs> can't see that you've annoyed him or that you're sat on his lap so uh, um, as, as the train has, has begun to leave uh, you can, you look at, looking out the window you can see that it's sort of drawing out of uh, the plat- uh, the station and uh, it, it's sort of moving there's houses sort of line either side of the, 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 the railway uh, for a bit and then it sort of get fewer and fewer, and then you you pass under uh, a, through a gateway of, of the wall that surrounds the uh, the, the city uh, of, of Gallantry, uh, and you're out into uh, effectively the the edges of the wasteland, and all you can see in the uh, early morning light is sort of nothing, nothing but sand for miles and miles and miles. Uh, occasionally you sort of see uh, like a rocky outcrop or or uh, some sort of darker rock that may have used to have been uh, a building or something at some point. Uh, but yeah, it's just waste, wastelands for as far as you can see. Uh, clouds above in the distance are sort of angry and, and, and showing all sorts of hues of colour. Sort of there's, there's lightning with it that flashes red and purple uh, and occasionally a, a black flash. Uh, uh, and, and, and sort of um, in, in, in various directions, it's these storms in the sky. None seem to be nearby at, at, at this moment, but um, you can see them raging in the distances. Um, uh, a familiar sight to uh, uh, to those that have it this land, but but still uh, awe-inspiring, nonetheless. Um, and. Uh, yes, uh, at this point, um, the, the, the the big fella uh, gets up and uh, goes, uh, goes, sort of leans on the bar and goes, Can I get a drink now? <laughs> and, she's, and, and the and the young girl who's sort of, uh, sort of, uh, it looks quite sort of, uh, she's got a, a, like a white shirt, uh, sort of uh, uh, like a bar staff uniform kind of thing, uh, uh, like a, a black bow tie, uh, uh, a white shirt and sort of black trousers and, and her hair sort of quite short. Uh, side parting uh, in a sort of uh, sort of strawberry kind of auburny colour, uh, and she sort of just looks up, uh, looks at the guy with a, a, a clear look of disdain, <laughs> uh, and, and uh, says, "Yeah, sure. What do you want?" And he goes, "Sir, I'll I'll have um, I'll have the strongest thing you have," uh, and uh, she goes, "Okay." Uh, and she turns around and, pour, and sort of lifts up a, a bottle of uh, uh, liquor. Uh, and, and if anybody wants to uh, make a, a, a perception roll, who's, who's looking? Sure. You could probably read the label from there. 18. Ooh. Ooh, hang on. I rolled well again. Um, one second. <laughs> My sheet gun. Uh, 23. <laughs> again. Ooh, Same yeah. roll, 19 again. Different dice. August isn't watching at the moment. Okay, so you two, you can see that this label, the label on it, is uh, uh, is called a, a Klaxon whis- whiskey, uh, Eight. and uh, and it has a reputation for being uh, making making those that drink too much very vocal and very loud uh, in, in various forms. Some some through uh, they can't control themselves uh, by. Uh, making lots of pained vomiting noises, uh, or or or, or it, it sort of the, the, those that don't uh, get violently sick um, just get violent. Become, yeah, yeah, possibly, or, or just you know, just very vocal, very loud. You know, sort of uh, it. it uh, it's known to be very strong and um, quick. At, quick work. It's, you don't need a lot to uh, get drunk on this stuff. Uh, and uh, yeah, so she pours him a shot, uh, and uh, he, he sort of swigs it down and go and 
it goes, whoa, that's the stuff. Uh, hang on, I need to find his uh, <laughs> stats. Can't save. Yep. Yeah. Uh, hang on. Uh, what is it? My first piece of editing. Please get a one. Please. Uh, yeah. Right. Eight. Oh, uh, amazingly, I am already on this thing. Okay. 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 Uh, yeah. So he uh, takes this swig and sort of looks proud of himself and begs down. Hmm. Another, madam. And then she goes, um, I'd give it a minute if I were you. He goes, What? And then. You visibly notice the colour drain from his face, <laughs> and, and uh, he's and he starts sort of sweating a little bit. Goes, oh. Abel, well, well, watch my bags, and and he disappears into the uh, the small water closet that's uh, at the end <laughs> of the uh, pack. <coughs> and you can hear lots of uh, sort of Retching. muffled retchings and uh, things uh, as, as this guy is. Uh, Losing his breakfast, um, uh, 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 and you notice that the girl sort of turns, puts the bottle back with a little smile on her face. <laughs> uh, she's quite happy. Roman uh, will have a little smirk to himself. Yeah. Uh, what's, the, uh, what's that noise? <laughs> <laughs> it's the man in the toilet. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, you can all notice that the man who who was who appears to be the owner of the trunk uh, is is sort of sat. Uh, he, he can't sit still. He's sort of fidgeting. Uh, he's sort of looking around. He keeps looking back uh, towards the, the you know towards the rear of the train, um, and, and he's sort of uh, looking at everybody without catching their eye. You know, sort of as soon as somebody sort of he's sort of looking away. Uh, he's very fidgety, very nervous. Um, It's quite exhausted. Hmm. Oh, I've got a real bad idea, and I'm going to do it. Oh, okay. Um, Roman's just going to kind of lean towards um, Caster. Just remind me again. How uh, how far is the range on that head mind thing you do? Oh, uh, thirty feet. Right. Around how far is it to the back of the uh, back of the train? I'd say uh, the the carriage carriages are. I need to get, uh, how long is a railway yeah. carriage? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Wasn't expecting thanks. my nonsense. No. Can I just say, we're having a very similar thought, I think. <laughs> yep. Uh, okay. I'll make that a bit smaller. Okay, I'd say that the carriages are probably knocking on for about 50 feet. Cool. Each. So it's quite a long... Um, hmm. No, but uh, there's, there's windows up and down the carriages, isn't there? Yeah. Mm. Caster could simply get up and look curiously out of a window. Just because the storms and things mm. happening, isn't there? I'm going to excuse myself and just start heading towards the back of the train. Okay. Okay. Yep. So, uh, yep. yeah, you can you can pass through the other carriage. Um, you you part, uh, the, the, the middle carriage is one of those ones uh, where the, the passageway is down the side, mm-hmm. and that and it opens into the sort of little compartments all the way to go, go uh, all the way down to your, on your left as you mm-hmm. go down the little passageway on your on the right of the carriage. And at the other at the far end uh, is a door that passes uh, opens out into the out world, outside world, mm-hmm. and you have to sort of step over. Uh, Onto the um, yes. uh, between the carriages, so uh, you, you've already done it once mm-hmm. from one carriage to the other, uh, and then uh, again to the uh, 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 to the storage 
uh, the guard train, yeah. uh, guard carriage, if you like, uh, the brake van, and um, so you're stood on a little, like a little balcony, and there's this, this door in front into the storage. Car- uh, Try and open the door. Uh, okay, uh, it, it, it opens. Uh, and as you op- uh, open it, you can see into. It's, it's fairly well lit. Mm-hmm. There's sort of uh, bundles of boxes and crates and things that have got like netting around to stop them sliding around uh, uh, and uh, down the side. Uh, in the centre is this uh, trunk that you've seen before, and on your left is like a little corner room. Uh, uh, and uh, as you uh, sort of step through the door, you just hear it go. Uh, you hear a little voice go. Uh, can I help you at all? And it's the uh, the guard from uh, the, the from the platform who sort of blew his whistle. Uh, he's he's in a, like a little his little office, and he's got his little feet up, uh, uh, reading a, a book of some kind uh, with a little. Uh, he's got a little thermos mm. flask and some biscuits. On a, uh, and he goes, uh, "Can I help you? Do you? Uh, do you, uh, do you yeah, do you sorry. Just... Um, yeah, the there was a guy who's he's sick in the uh, main character. Could you go and? I don't know what you can do, but um, if you Ooh, could okay. go oh, and see oh, yeah. him. Let's check the... Pa- he's, he's, oh. Yeah, I don't think he's... There's, he's there's well only one toilet. We don't want him bunging it up. Yeah, oh. exactly. That's, that's, that's my thought. Yeah, it's bad enough having them walks on there. I mean... Uh, hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, he sort of uh, waits for you to sort of... To, to lead him the way. Oh, so it, yeah! It's just in the. F- I need to get something from my. I forgot something in my pack. Okay. Uh, could you make a, pers- uh, a deception <laughs> roll for me, please? <laughs> yeah. It's going to go real well. Oh, we're not saying another low charisma character in to do charisma stuff, are we? Yep. Minus two to the charisma. <laughs> Solomon at least had minus one. Now I have minus two. It's even Ooh. worse this time. <laughs> Oh, which dice do you use this one? That is a total of 18 from a natural oh, 20. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, he goes, uh, Thanks, he rolled quite high better. as well, but he goes, uh, oh, oh, okay. Um, oh, you don't have to worry about me. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll trust you then. You look, you've got an honest face. Uh, Give us a little thumbs up and just... yeah. And he, and he sort of returns the thumbs up, and then there's sort of uh, he, he sort of t- he sort of leaps across to the to the next uh, train, and then uh, Solomon just he, kind of he, like as he disappears he, into the to the next carriage. As he watches him go, Solomon just kind of say to himself quietly, "I don't know if they're getting stupider or I'm getting better." <laughs> and then he turns around and goes to find the uh, the big magic crate. <laughs> Okay, well, it's not hard to find. It's it's literally in the middle of the, in, in the middle of the uh, cool. carriage. Oh, uh, uh, by the way, an additional thing about the the mind link power: you have to be able to see me. For oh, it to work. oh no! Okay, I don't Just know. It works. No. It's fine. It works. I don't understand. It's fine. You can link with me. The brothers. I don't know. Sure, makes sense. Magic in it. <laughs> okay. So, so what do you want to do? Open You're the box. With this. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm doing that. Being real smart. Okay. <laughs> Something go wrong. Okay, so uh, you uh, approach this car- uh, this. Um, I'll do the smart thing first as I am a treasure hunter. Is it locked and trapped? Okay. Uh, make an, in- an investigation roll for me, please. Oh, another one of your specialties. Twelve. Uh, it doesn't seem trapped. Cool. Is it locked? Uh, it is locked. Yes. Cool. Um, hmm. Is there a bit of a of a kind of a gap between the two? Yeah. Um, how 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 it looks is uh, okay. Mm. There is uh, what looks to be the lid. Uh, there's like two layers of gold inlay. Like, mm-hmm. uh, and you can see a, a dark line down the middle, which it, it, it shows it seems to be well, that's where it opens. Uh, uh, and the lock itself uh, has a uh, is a gold plate, a little square plate, uh, and a, a, a sort of a, a clasp thing that's in it. Uh, but there's no key hole, not a problem, not a problem. 
Okay. I'm not there. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> yeah, I'll take, I'll take the sword from my back. Just kind of get it in in that kind of clasp zone and just leave her. Okay. Uh, okay. You take ten d8 damage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Your face is melted uh, by the Ark of the Covenant. <laughs> yes. Uh, you, wow. you. Okay. Make a uh, dexterity saving throw for me, please. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. I thought it was going to be like a strong check to open it, but no, it's dex, I'm in. As, as you sort of bang bang the sword, uh, make, the, make the dex save. Cool, let's do this. Ooh, dex save. Um, uh, 15. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. So as you as you bang the sword into the the class, there's there's a, like a uh, a pop, uh, and you see uh, a brief second. You see uh, like a uh, uh, a blue flash uh, fire up the sword, uh, sort of going up the metal uh, into your hand, and you take uh, four points of uh, sort of lightning damage Ooh. as this thing. Uh, uh, and there's a big, uh, like a kind of, uh, sounds like a thunderclap uh, uh, sound. Uh, and uh, It'll pull back and just, ah, shit. Yeah. And then kind of I'll look, uh, just see if anyone, how kind of listen, see if anyone. Yeah, it, wasn't, it wasn't as huge, it wasn't like the 300 foot thunderclap mm. of like thunder wave or anything like that. But it was just like a big sort of big pop. Uh, and it sort of, and it sort of echoed in the building, uh, in the in the carriage. Say, I'll kind of uh, take a second, just... Listen if anyone's coming. Okay. Uh, uh, is the is the uh, make make a perception roll for me quickly. Uh, six. No, you don't hear anybody. Cool. Um, Let's do this. Would we, would we okay, have heard so, the pop? <laughs> uh, what is your passive perceptions? I mean, it's like a My- hundred feet away. My, my my passive perception is only twelve. He's not okay. perceptive. No, you would you would not have heard it. What what is yours? Uh, to the ear, to the rabbit ears, just flick up. I think you're muted, James. My passive perception is eighteen. Okay, you you hear something. You're not quite sure what it is, but you hear something from yeah, the back of the, the train. Ears, like. Take yeah. in that direction. It's an unusual set. It's sort of you. You, I mean, the engines of these, that the, the, the engine in often makes lots of. Ba- there's lots of clanks and bangs and sort of noises of sort of uh, the old occasional backfire or something. But this is from the other end. Uh, it's very. Uh, I'm not quite sure. It's not yeah. good to have backfires from the other end. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no. Sorry. No. Very dangerous. So yeah. what? Uh, uh, just pausing to, to, to listen out for any further noises. Um, okay. Uh, I wish to open the chest. Okay. Um, August. Uh, yes, you probably would notice this as well. That uh, the gentleman who is looking very nervous suddenly goes very still and uh, he, he pulls out his pocket watch and he's looking, he looks a little bit concerned and, and, he, and he quickly, uh, without, but without trying to draw attention to himself, starts uh, making his way towards the back of the carriage past you and, and leaving the carriage, making his way. Uh, uh, and, and, and he quickens his step as he gets towards the door. Do I do as I he, get a glimpse he, he of what's you. in? Uh, uh, you haven't opened it yet. I was going to say you, I said dropped. I wonder. Yeah, yeah, no, open yeah, yeah. It. Okay, uh, make, uh, make another hit. Uh, sort of uh, I've strength. To, like lever it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a strong class. Is this a strength athletics or? Yeah. Come on, athletics. Yeah, twenty-four. Okay, you pop the lock. Uh, uh, the sword is pretty strong, uh, and you're a big burly man. You just managed to get the right angle, 
hit it and it sort of just it sort of there's a sort of uh, sort of uh, as it sort of it, 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 it was a strong lock mm. that you managed to, uh, to pop it off okay I will then quickly open the chest quickly open it okay uh, and that's where we will leave it for today <laughs> no I want to know what's in there <laughs> not even we don't mean going that long we can go a bit longer <laughs> Uh, that, yeah, that's that's where we'll stop. <laughs> the rabbit's yeah, got gonna, to go. Gonna, I want to cause yeah, more problems. I'm going to tease you. Mm-hmm. I'm no, just trying to work no. out if Caster would notice if because uh, because he probably wouldn't. I was going to say which one of your fairies is talking to you now. <laughs> he says the fairies, the the spirits, mm-hmm. they're his friends. I mean, fairy spirits, it's all the same to Roman. I don't know. <laughs> <You're nonsense. laughs> Oh, no, that's right. The, the magic of the lock didn't attract any uh, unwanted extra magical attentions either. Good, good. Just thought. All right, uh, thank you for listening to episode one. I uh, hope you join into episode two to find out what's in the box. What's in the box? <laughs> will it? Will, well, uh, will, it, will, will it not be Gwyneth Paltrow? <laughs> is it or is it not Gwyneth Paltrow's head? <laughs> it might be. Tune in next time. Cheerio. Bye. Bye. Toodles.